and everything's sanded. I had to go over it with 40 grit paper first to get rid of all the old stain. Then 60. I don't have an 80, I prefer 80, but 60 and then 120. They're all on these little buttons so that I can just push them around and spray both sides at the same time. They're going to get clear lacquer on them, pre cut lacquer. This one. It's quite thin. So I'm going to be using this one, the ANI 1.5. And then in here, I've got the backboards and there's four sides. I'm going to spray them with primer first. Pre-cap primer. And I'm going to use the Deva Bliss, which is a 1.8mm nozzle. I want to get this this lacquer out of the way first so that by the time the primers dry next door I can separate them because some are going to get blue some are going to get white so I want to spray white next door and blue in here probably the other way around white in here blue next door uh, this is quite thin but uh, this is quite thin but it's a couple of year old so, no mixing involved with this. It's a bit thicker than I want, so I'm going to thin it down a little bit. It's easier to put on more coats than you need. Lots of thin coats. And I keep the offcuts, the little thin offcuts, and cut them down into sticks. And as always, 190 filter. I can tell how thick it is, how fast it goes through the filter. I want to be able to pour it and it pass through the filter at about the same rate. See the bits in the bottom of there, that's why you fill it with. And as always, make sure that little hole's in. Make sure that little hole's not blocked. On the wall here I've got a filter regulator. If I pull the trigger. Goes to about 25 psi. Right, while that's drying I'm going to do some primer. I've got to wear my mask so I can't talk to you. But it's same as the lacquer there.
It's about to take this, so I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to use this gun. It's got a 2.5mm nozzle. See how much thicker it is. See how much thicker it is, even though I put loads of thinners in it. Uh, that's the first coat. I've gone over with 320 paper. Nice and smooth again. I'll give them another two coats probably tonight and then they're done. I can get them out of the way. And the primer on here. These bits of wood I'll probably just go over with 320. The MDF is a bit rougher so we'll see. Maybe 320. But I've got to do inside these grooves. It's a bit like doing edge edges on MDF. So I might have to give that a sander, maybe give that a couple of coats. Right, it's next day. These are looking all nice. Nice satin finish on them. I'm going to put these out of the way. And in here, these all had, these got about three coats of primer on them. These got at least a couple of coats on them. Both sides. I'm going to take these next door. I've just gone over this with 320. It's nice and smooth. And these are going to get painted blue. Right, painting time. This is white pre cut. And it's been quite a while since I bought pre because it's, it dries very well, it lays flat, but it's a hard enamel, it can chip. It's not as hard wearing as the PU. Like I say, it's been quite a while and this stuff, 
say it's pre catalyzed no mixing involved this is still looking quite good I've got another full tin next door but I think there'll be more than enough for just these two boards in here I'm going to use that's the 1.5 that I put the thinners on with the A and I I've got another one which is 1.8 practically the same gun just a different nozzle but before I start I'm a bit of a lazy cleaner but before I start I like to do have a look in there that feeds the paint in through there that looks pretty clean and have a look down there make sure that's clean do me see how it goes that looks okay so that's going with that and this is for the wood that's on the side Look at that. Is that blue or what? Needs a good shake. I'm going to use the Deva Bliss again for this. So same again. Just pull the trigger in, just pull the nozzle back. Jesus. It's probably a better one. Yeah, that one. looking clean in there. Make sure your needle's clean. Oh come on you prick. And as always, make sure that hole's clear when you filled it. This is already quite thin. Good thing about this paint, the excess that you've got in your gun at the end of the day, you can throw back in here. You can even throw your slop in, you know, that you wash your gun out with. It's the same stuff. Problem is your paint starts getting thinner, so... See, that's quite a lot for this, it's more than enough. But I can throw the excess back in here when I've done. I'm going to put just a little bit thinner in. I 
so make sure that's clear. Looks like it's got a little bit of crud on it, so... I like to set this so that when you pull the trigger, when you wind that in, you can just feel the trigger just start to open, so fully, fully back, and then wind that until it just starts to move the trigger. I won't do it now because it'll piddle out of there. And then the fan. It's not very wide on these guns. It's okay, so I have it full open. You can't regulate the pressure on here, but I've got the regulator on the wall. I'm going to do the blue while I'm here. I'm going to give this filter a rinse out in case I need to use it again. And that bit of slop in there, I'll use to rinse the gun out at the end of the day. So, blue. Don't put your filters down because you get crud on there and then that ends up in your gun, so I put them upside down. Same again, just going to thin it down a fraction. Put this next door, that's ready then. Both of these guns are 1.8mm nozzles. Same again, rinse that out. And these I've given a light rub down with some 320 paper. And I've decided to reduce the size of my stand. So when these go on, I've got less chance of blowback underneath the spray should go past it instead of bouncing back up off the table
Apparently they've had four coats. Three's probably fine, but they were thin coats, so and I've got plenty. So I'll leave them overnight to dry properly. If I turn them over when the touch dry, they'll stick to the bits of wood there. They got about four coats as well, a white top coat. The camera didn't film that. It's nothing special though. Just make sure I've got plenty in these grooves. It's a bit late, but I want to put them together tonight and they're dry for tomorrow. I'm only putting the glue in the holes because it probably won't stick to the paint anyway. Once this is all glued together, it'll be more than enough. Well, can't see any marks. I think I got away with that. Right, they're clamped up. They're going to stay there overnight. Then I'll put the backs on. I check that they're square first by measuring corner to corner. These are had overnight to dry, glued to dry. I'm going to fix the fix the backs on with 20 mil narrow crown staples. Make a little mark to tell me where the shelves are.
do this one now. Alright, I'm going to leave them on for there for now. Let the glue dry. And I'll try to go fit them later. Do like my shelf rack for that. Just move a couple of things out of the way.